Let's talk about how to festoon a denture in Nomad Sculpt. Nomad Sculpt is an iPad Android app that you could download. It's $14. You have a free trial if you want to try it out before you buy it. Um, I have no affiliation with those guys. Just got bored one day and started sculpting in it. So open the STL file. I put it in Google Drive. You could email it to yourself. But then in Apple, you just hit open in. And it should show up as one of your options, Nomad. And it brings it right into the scene. The first thing that I did that's a little bit different from your initial default setup is that I went to this little sun icon right here. And I changed from PBR to Metcap and I changed my uh, material to gray because I just like the way that I could see texture on gray better. Secondly, um, if you go to your settings, you wanna change to smooth shading. So you wanna make sure smooth shading is highlighted and you want to, you could turn wireframe on or off depending on what you want there. Render resolution is default. Everything else is pretty much default um, in the settings. But the main thing that I changed was that smooth shading, okay? All right, once you've done that, you should be ready to go. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create some gingival contours and for that you should see the icon crease okay so highlight your crease now this little parallel triangles here you want to turn off that symmetrical icon because if you leave it on what you do on this side will be happening somewhere else and let's see if I could get it yeah it's actually wherever that other secondary it's totally not doing it right now but usually I'm gonna hit undo Usually when that symmetrical icon's orange, um, it'll start to do stuff on the opposite side of where you're working. So make sure that's off. Now, you'll notice what's really cool about this software is it really protects the intaglio. So if you look here, if I do a giant crease here, if I turn it around, it will mess up that surface if it's that, that extreme. See, but if you're in an area that's a little bit thicker, like down here, it will not mess up that surface, okay? And that's based off of your intensity here and your, and your radius. So for example, if I have a small radius, it's not gonna go through the other side. If I have a big radius on my brush, it's going to deform way past the boundaries, okay? Once again, I'm down here at the bottom left, you have undos. So therefore, I like to use a small size radius brush, okay, for the crease. So right now I'm at 20. Once again, make sure that symmetrical is off. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to come along with that crease and we're going to create some rolled gingiva. Use your fingers, oh that's a little bit too high, use your fingers to rotate the model and your stylus to use the tool. My intensity is pretty high up because I'm creating some gnarly rolled gingiva here. Okay, let's just start like that. So now we're going to go to the inflate tool right down here. And we're going to put our brush size at oh, about 30. We're going to leave it on right in the middle of strength intensity. And what we're going to do is we're going to create some eminences. Don't worry about... Um, the the lines here that's so easy we're going to smooth that out so we're creating a distal oops what did i do different there we're, i accidentally hit flatten with my finger so back on to inflate creating a little distal there the lateral we're going to create just a little triangle it's so small centrals 
a bigger triangle here. And you want it to look gnarly right now, it's okay. Big triangle. Basically, I'm doing individual brush strokes. Tiny, tiny little triangle. Canine, distally extended eminence. Like that. So we have that. You could go ahead on your posteriors if you want and add a little bit. Okay. A little bump. This is just how I, I, I bet there's people that are way better at this than me. I'm just showing you what I do. So once you have those positives, we're gonna add negatives. So hit the little subtract button right here. You see the little teardrop subtract? <clears throat> and we're gonna make, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make an H starting here, cross, and then here. That was an H. Here, we're gonna do a Y. One, two, three. And then we're just gonna do lines here. So once again, an H, a Y, okay? And then just some lines there. Okay, so that's looking gnarly. Let's go ahead now and go to, take the subtract off. So hit the teardrop, make sure it's off and go to smooth. Let's smooth this up. Don't be shy when you smooth, it's really gonna help um, change a lot of the disastrous things that happened when you were doing this. It's really the smooth tool is one of my favorites because it makes everything right. Oh, I accidentally hit relax there. Just smooth. Don't want relax hit. Just want smooth hit. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of decrease the accentuation of that crease a little bit, blending those surfaces um, so it doesn't look like patient has gingivitis, blending those surfaces like that. Okay. So now that we have that established, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go back to crease. Crease is one of my favorites. And we're going to decrease the intensity a little bit, maybe halfway. Size is still at 20. And now this is where you could get kind of crazy, but now I'm going to go ahead, create a Y right there. I'm going to create a triangle here, like that. I'm going to create a triangle here, bigger triangle. Once again, triangle here. Little triangle comes to a sharp point there. A Y right here. Here is also a Y behind the distal to the cuspid. So once again, we have a Y like that. And then usually just some lines back here that we'll smooth out later. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to create a freedom. I'm going to go back to my inflate, put my radius down at like 17, strength all the way up, create like a little gnarly little guy right here. And then I'm going to go, so that was inflate um, at 17, intensity is pretty high up, maybe 75% of the way. Back to crease, and let's go ahead and accentuate that using the crease tool, kind of drawing that, making it look gnarly. Okay, what you could also do is if you didn't love your CEJs, you could come in here, you could even change locations at this point if you needed to make them symmetrical. You gotta be careful here because you are you could change the whole aesthetic by accident. Like for example, I could make this lateral a little bit more V-shaped at the cervical than what happened in the design software. So I'm coming here. And remember, you have a lot of undos, making that a little bit more V-shaped. I could lower CEJs. You could even on the teeth, I don't recommend this when you're first starting out. You could start to accentuate some anatomy here. Okay, so if you 
this is getting getting close. The one thing that I'm going to do now is add some tissue stretch marks. So I'm actually going to go to, I'm on crease, and I'm going to hit the subtract, which means, basically it means opposite of what it was doing. So if crease is making a crease, now it's going to make these little kind of venules. Okay. I'm just going to kind of love ones right about here. Maybe one right there. All right, now it's looking like this is like a juiced up denture here. That's about it. Um, what else can you do? Now you could go back to your um, inflate tool and put it on smooth. And this is where you could kind of, oop, it automatically asks you to save after 10 minutes. This is where you could kind of now soften um, what you've done and and so for all the technicians out there that that are better at this than me you ha you'll have your own art form that you want to do um, this is where you come in and kind of start blending things now if you guys know anything about me you know I paint flexera if you're using whatever material you're using. I paint it on top. So that's going to flow into a lot of this and decrease the intensity um, that this looks like. But that's how you festoon, guys. Um, this was a 10-minute tutorial. Like when I'm doing this for reals, it's a, it's a three to five minute gig. I hope that helps.